before. And um, a couple months after that win, I had the honor to uh, attend a gala with, with Lightning. And um, she was so full of energy. And, you know, when we hugged and said goodbye that night, I just knew when I got back here in July, we were going to, July or August, I was going to get to do the same thing over again. And uh, unfortunately, it was time for her to go. Uh, but she touched so many people, and um, I'm just so honored and thankful that everybody come out to, uh, to give her some love. Thank you. Now, track president Frank Kelleher, if you'll uh, tell some stories about Lightning, and I uh, appreciate you. Got it. Thank you, Michael. Can't think of a better host than Michael Waltrip uh, and his special relationship that he had with Miss Lightning. So, quick story, I've been with the company for over 22 years. When I was asked to be the president of the Speedway three and a half years ago, when I met up with Jim France, he said the first meeting that you need to have is with Lightning. And he looked over at Chip Wilde, who had this role prior, and he goes, does he know Lightning? Chip goes, I don't know, sir, but he's going to very soon. <laughs> so we hopped a trip to Chip Suburban, we went beachside, we went to Lightning's house, and we sat outside and we had some lemonade. And uh, that was where my personal relationship with Lightning started. And then through the last three and a half years, I've just learned so many special and awesome stories of fans year over year traveling from around the globe. And their first stop is right here to this ticket office, to that ticket window out there. And they would wait in line for hours to see Lightning. They could have gotten service in seconds at window number two or three or four, but they wanted to wait and see Lightning and have a chat and she would remember their names and remember where they came from. And I just think that is one of the many special stories about the family and the fabric that NASCAR Motorsports and the France family bring. So uh, quickly realized that I needed to honor and celebrate Lightning. So a few years ago, we named this ticket office the Lightning Epton Ticket Office, which I think, Mikey, we got a photo of it. We got a photo of Lightning right here, right above you, my man. So the Lightning Epton Ticket Office and so when we lost Lightning this past May at 103 years old, and I don't know if I should share this or not, but she showed up at work two days prior. She wanted to work and like, hey, you feeling? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, leave me alone, let me do my thing. So she was, she was ready to work and I think that as well shows she loved coming to work, she loved the sport, and she loved each and every single one of you. So when Lightning passed, I thought, man, it, it, it'd be foolish of us if we did not do something to honor and celebrate Lightning and to keep that candle lit of our guests coming in from around the globe to come to get their ticket. So we have created this wall, the tribute to Miss Lightning Epton. Uh, we are grateful for her granddaughter Casey to be here, uh, Michael, uh, Michael Waltrip to be here again with that special relationship and a two-time winner of the Daytona 500. So I want to thank all of our guests, all of our fans, all of our staff, that came out today to see the unveil of this wall. Um, and again, we will keep Lightning in our thoughts and her family in our prayers. And um, we will do our best to keep her story living for decades to come. So, um, Mikey, I'll hand it back to you. If you wanna chat it up on some of these photos, I think you nailed it with, uh, with William's first win. And uh, this, this photo here, so Mr. Mr. France unfortunately could not be here today. Uh, where's Lindsay? She knows. He wanted this photo on the wall here. Uh, this is Lightning. This is Betty Jane. This is Annie B. And he goes into great detail of exactly where they are and what they're doing with this pen and this board. This was how you marked off when a ticket was sold. Um, so th there's a lot of personal touches and a lot of meaning to a lot of people inside the NASCAR community with all these photos. And they're so wonderful. I'd like to invite up ticket representative Stephanie Cohen. Stephanie worked with Lightning side by side for 12 years, and uh, I know you've got some great stories to share. Thank you. Yep, I was blessed to work with Lightning for the last 12 years that I've been here, here at the ticket office. Sorry. And you know, Lightning had three F's in her life. It was faith, family, and her families. And here at the ticket office, we were all family. Everyone does throw work family around, but here we really were a family. And as a family, our heart is still broken, but she will always be the heart of our ticket office. 
and every time that we think about her and all her little silly quips that she would say or the little hugs she would always give us, asking us, do you have a Tootsie Roll Pop for me? Or just saying, hey, where were you today? I didn't see you. Just the little things that she would do will always put a smile on our heart. And as you're out here with everyone watching the race, just know that Lightning is looking down and smiling and finally watching a race because she would never leave this ticket office to watch a race. She always felt she had to be here to see all of her favorites. And everyone here celebrating her today, just know you're more than fans. You are family. Thank you. Fox Sports last February decided to do a special on Lightning, and I came in and interviewed her, and we talked about her uh, career uh, as as the, the queen that she was. And at the end of it, I jokingly sort of said, "Lightning, I need a couple of tickets. You got you got any you can spare?" She said, "No, no, no. That's not how it works. You need tickets, you buy tickets. We sell tickets here. We don't give them away. What else do you need, son?" <laughs> And that spirit was with her till the till the very last day. And from her heart, and as a, a representative for her, uh, because I love her and I feel like she's with me, we spent enough time here now. Let's get back to work and sell some more tickets. That's what we're going to do the rest of the day, right? Thank you all so much for being here, and thank you, Lightning, for your heart and, and the way you're going to leave a lasting impression on this place for another 103 years. So thank you, Frank, for today, and appreciate you having me and, and letting us honor this beautiful, lovely, wonderful woman. Well,